All right. Cool, cool. Ah, yes. Oh, wow. That's low. <laughs> That's lower than I thought it would be. <coughs> um, which is okay, I guess. It gets low. So here we go. Uh, this is 5.0 D&D. You see me, sort of? Yeah, cool. All right. Everybody, uh, got, uh, we'll just we'll sort of go around the table, introduce yourselves and your character, and a little bit about your character. All right, I'll go and first. We'll go from there. Okay. Well, my character is named Raziel. He is fighter, he's an archer. He uses a bow and has a long sword. Um, <coughs> and he's ready to go. <laughs> Backstory or background? Oh yeah, he was raised by the elves because this crazy red dragon slayed his hometown. And Your background nice. is an outlander? Oh yeah, he's an outlander. He okay. just kind of lived out cool, cool. in the woods. Good deal. Crazy human. I've heard the fucking berserk and barbarian badass. Overpowered with 19 strength. <laughs> yeah, he has gone with some overpower. Uh, okay. Yeah, it was a pirate. Do you have your uncommon magic item? No, I don't. Okay, uh, well, yeah. you're a rogue? Yeah. I don't have mine either. Uh, yes, you do. I do? Yes. Wait. I gave you the gloves of thievery. That's right. I see them now. Yes, which is super handy. Um, for you, how about the slippers of spider climbing? I can dig that. There you go. Which basically lets you walk on walls and ceilings, assuming it's not a slick surface. Is he Spider-Man? That would happen just now? Apparently I am now. Which, keep your hands free for archery and... and, and which is good, stuff. because I, yeah. And, and beating up Doc Ock. Indeed. <laughs> right, beating up Doc Ock, yeah. And, you know, whip, whip. Right. <laughs> no, you can't cast web with that. That would be the cloak of... Uh, BDSM? The Arachnid. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I don't know. I don't want this to be turned into Fifty Shades of Gandalf the Grey. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesse, your character? I, I am Chiron, a rogue tiefling. I have a criminal background and I was raised by monks, but I am stepping away from my faith. So. <clears throat> Okie dokie. I am Soren Arakan. I am a ranger with a criminal background. I like to steal small things, just petty stuff. Uh, I tend to like to steal expensive things when I see them, though. I have trouble leaving that behind. Right, right. And I have come across our tiefling many times in the past. That is reasonable. Well, we're criminals. Okay. And I'm Rand Brightbottle, a Blackfoot halfling, criminal background as a pickpocket, uh, earliest memories, orphan on the streets. Uh, eventually, I found work in a tavern, and uh, I made most of my money actually stealing small coins from the patrons. Excellent. Uh, just as a side thing for, what's your name? What's your character's name? Hi. Yeah. Chiron. Chiron, right. The Gloves of Thievery give you plus five to your pickpocket rolls, which is like a sleight of hand thing, and to your checks to open locks, which is really handy. <coughs> cool. All right. Did you write the numbers on here? Hmm? Did you write the numbers on here? I did. Okay. I did. Let's say, that's not my handwriting. I remember No, that. it's it's mine. I, okay. I did. Cool. So it's, it's, it's easier to, to, to reference. It's a quick reference. Oh, it's so much neater than my handwriting. <laughs> okay. So you're starting in Sartek City, as most of my campaigns begin. It's the, <coughs> largest, the largest city on this <coughs> continent. It's, is sort of the capital. Uh, this world, more or less, in the civilized parts is run by the guild, which is a conglomeration of all the different types of guilds, which include a sanctioned thieves guild. Um, they have a uh, sort of MI6 policy of if you are caught, they disavow all knowledge of your actions. So, yeah. Uh, but they do have uh, quests and stuff that they give out to thieves. Although you will be beginning, will be beginning rather, as joining the adventurers guild. Yes, and you are each invited because you join 
it doesn't necessarily matter where you ended up joining the guild within the city because there's several different locations where you can go to say I want to be an adventurer I want to acquire wealth or power or whatever and they say okay great we'll get you set up all right wherever you are in whatever tavern you're here in you get an invitation to a, a building a that building right there yes. this one right here yes indeed it's a big building yeah a nice courtyard it is. Sweet backyard. So what's up? Um, yeah, I know. At the front door, <laughs> there is a gentleman who leads you into the conference room in that corner. So everyone sit in the conference room. <laughs> and sitting at the head of the table, <laughs> the other side of the table, I guess, is a gnome, a female gnome, who has green skin, which is a result of a uh, just put it that yeah, head table's fine. Um, result of a rod of wonder incident, which if you don't know what that is, it's a it's this crazy sort of chaotic magical item that has random effects that can occur. One of which is to turn the wielder permanently blue or green. Uh, <laughs> She, int she introduces herself as Alexandra. She is the head of the Adventurer's Guild. Um, she wears studded leather armor, but instead of metal studs, each stud is a gem. She's Tarek. And she has uh, what you undoubtedly recognize as magical items all about her. Like, she's got a lot of stuff going on. Decked in magic. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, first thing is this is going to be your base of operations. This is a brand new building, by the way. Everything is it's like shiny new furnishings. This is day one, our sweet new command this center. Is day one, your command center. You guys have the third floor as far as rooms, yeah. uh, like bedrooms and stuff. The other group has the second floor, so you're going to be working from the same building as as the Friday group. We're going to do better because we're four higher. <laughs> <laughs> now, how's that watching? Right. There are some paperwork things that we need to to take care of here, um, with respect to like de debriefing and such. Who will be the leader of this group? I thought I had to leave my pants on. You said debriefing. And <laughs> do you have, although this is the first time that any of you have met, with the exception of some of your characters, like already know each other, uh, think of a name for your group so we can have something to put into what their they, our what paperwork. What, what, what the other team think? They are LLAP. Because Those on Friday the 14th? Or no, yeah. Friday the 6th. Their uh, their first session was on the same day that Leonard and Nimoy died, so they oh, okay. so live on and prosper. I like so that. L L A P. Fair enough. <laughs> 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 so, who will be your leader? I will. Unless anyone else wants to take the lead. I've got no problem with that. Mm -hmm. So, where are we going? So Raziel is the leader. All right, Raziel is the leader. Now, you don't have to give me the name now. You can submit your name once you've had time to think about okay. it or if something throughout your adventures brings to mind a name or something like that. We got uh, it. We'll figure it out. Yes. Oh, I was saying <laughs> we did? What? I don't, I'm not sure what it is right now, but I got this. I name it. My character, the entire meeting through that point, would be kicking back, feet on the table to say, tell me where to sign for this shit. <laughs> All right. Well, don't worry something. about that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, the why are we meeting here? Well, okay. <laughs> First of all, In the, the reason that you're meeting here is because this is your base. <laughs> and she gives you each uh, a key to your own room. Your room, <clears throat> if you flip the mat over, um, the is where all the bedrooms are. Um, the leader, of course, you can... Yeah, we don't... Does anyone need to go upstairs? Not really. But, like, you, you get the biggest room and you can dip out 
Oh, the other room. See whoever else you wanted. All right. You know, as as you will. He hands she hands you the keys and, the, and all that. So you can deal with that. Got it. That's whatever. Um, <coughs> you need uh, a day ago. We got a note. This note. <coughs> It's in Elvish. I can read Elvish. <laughs> you can read Elvish, okay. It's useful, I don't understand that gibberish. <laughs> I can also read Elvish. I can too, actually. Alright, so all three of us can read that. There is there's a forest to the north of Sartak City. Uh, if I can this up here for you. Where is Sartak City? Right here. This, okay. this, is, it, this is Sartak City. And this is the forest where you're going. Is that funny or color green? Yes, the is darker. A river in it? Right. That is? That's a river passing through. Yes. Awesome. There's a town or city, I guess, an elven city called uh, Ganrus. Ganrus, however you want to pronounce it. It varies. What you're talking to. And they're having issues um, with goblins and orc attacks and things like that. And we want you to go. Assist them as. I'm sorry, orcs and goblins? Yes. Oh, yes. And orcs. Uh, in fact, the note orcs reads We have been having troubles with orc oh, and goblin raids of late. Please send your finest adventurers to assist in this, and we will see that the guild is well rewarded. Thank you for your assistance. Sincerely, Erden. Erden is the sort of. the, the leader, the leader mayor of the guild that we talked to? Of, of the town. Okay, he's the mayor of this town. Right. It's an elvish town, right? He's he's the mayor equivalent, whatever they call themselves. I don't have anything made up for that. Some town? Like where is this like is it a is it no by no means a city? Is it all elves here? No, oh, in in Sartak City? Yeah. No. No. Well, Sartak City's giant it's city. Big, okay, yeah, it's a giant city that yeah. has a bunch of different races. Right. And like every kind it's of an elven path. The city is yes, it's an elvish city. The city. Well, we're going is the middle of the woods beside a river. Yeah, they live it's in like trees Ravenswood. and have like bridges that okay. get across. <laughs> it's Ravenswood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, obviously, yeah, obviously, the sooner that you leave, the better, because I don't know All right. how frequently their attacks are. But if you need to take time to. Is that basically everything the men said then? So, yes. I guess that's all I need. Also, as you don't have any healers, uh, she pulls out from one of her little pouches, she like reaches in deeply into this pouch, because it's it's a bag of holding it. And she pulls out a bandolier that has ten uh, cure light wound potions. Ten of them. Ten. Alright. I don't know well, how can, crazy this is. Can I have a bag to hold these in? You have, yeah, but like a bag it's, of a it's a bandolier. It's a bandolier. bandolier. Oh. Can we still have a bandolier? Can we still have a bandolier? Did we really push? pick the best leader for this group, guys? Yeah. I mean, do you, like, do you have a bag of holding we can use? Uh, no. Okay, so that, that's what I was asking. Another thing is that the Adventurers Guild gets ten percent. All right. Whatever you bring in. Mm -hmm. We have a, a way more leads on adventures and such uh, to get you going. All right. I was thinking if the notes had sent, said send their best and they're sending us. <laughs> this is also sort of a trial to see. kind of tag us in. Say good luck. Exactly. Right. See how well you do and where you would fit best in future adventures. We have lots of lots of uh, people that need help all over the place. Mm -hmm. And see this, how we do on this one. This will determine. Yes. All right. Cool. Now. Uh, she's. Great, good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys to it. All right, and she leaves. Um. So, a long ten. Each one of these little yes. potions that we got. Did I put that in the right bag? You did. How many did we get? Yeah, well, we had well, ten well, total. Well There's two for each of us. Oh, another thing. I and I don't mind either way. It is more beneficial for you if I roll behind the screen. If you want me to roll without the screen, I can't fudge the dice. Well, I guess I could, but it would, okay be, with it would be more That's obvious. I, I usually like the idea of you can't, the DM just doesn't. Yeah, this yeah. isn't even the first time I've had your old ice. I don't even know what the hell you're doing. 
yeah. true. You'll I probably there, wouldn't pay that much attention to you what numbers you were rolling You'll sit there for like 20 anyway. minutes going like this, and then you're like, I just rolled three tens in a row. <laughs> 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 nice work. Nice work. Got to waste them. I know, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> okay. Now, it will take oh, you three nice. days to yeah. get to the edge of the forest, and then three another... Days. Three days. yeah. Okay. And then another... Uh, four days to get to the town. To the location. So it'll be about a week to get over there, total. Yeah. Is there well, anything that you want to do before you leave the city? Does everyone have like 10 days rations? Are we back on that? Hmm? We never were solid on that answer. We actually got um, rations. You have a, like you're, you're with them, you're a ranger, to, like you can. I can forage with them. What is, what is just like, I'm just wondering how much strength we're, we're using on them. ammo? Do we actually have to keep up our ammo reserve? Um. In general, I would I, I would appreciate it if you did. Okay, that, that I just um, the last games I played it was pretty much just don't act like stormtroopers. Right. Yes. <laughs> or oh, just just <laughs> shoot until you eventually maybe hit something. Um, we need a seat. Oh, oh there's. This one right there. oh, okay, Jeremy's over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah just You're gonna grab one. that one. Okay. Um, you wanna? Like there you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go, oh, here, man. Oh, yeah. Right. He will go that way. Sure. Maybe. Because I don't get any skin in this. I guess that you then, <laughs> oh, no, or... I guess you're a monk. Also, there's dice there. Um, um the little thing. Yeah, you know, yeah. 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 I mean, I want to be All right. too, you know, we can share. Fair enough. We can sit down and get her all the same yeah. So, right after she leaves, um, the guy that, ex that, that escorted you into the room brings a new guy in. That is Ace Ryu. Ace Ryu. Or Ryu, I guess, however you pronounce it. So, now we have 10 light healing potions for six people. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm the shortest. I mean, you know, I'm. I'll take. I should get some more of those. <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm just going to say, I'm not going to carry any of them. I, I'll, I'll hold on to them. All right. Well, you want to uh, intro you introduce your character? It's like you can outrun us. Yeah, um, my character is Ace Ryu, or Ace Ryu, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I'm basically a monk. Uh, my race is human. You know, um, basically, uh, how do I put it? From another dimension, I wrote a story. I based this character on a story to, you know, here we are, you know, it's a long description. I'm not going to get into it because we're about to get into it. Again. But, um, yes. Fair enough. Yeah. Monk with the mysterious That's, past. Yeah. That's excellent. I will just say uh, how fast you can go. How fast? Well, yeah. yeah. Where you can go. Uh, um, he has like the boots of yeah. uh, striding and springing, which means that he can jump three times his normal distance, which means that he can jump. Forward 36 feet. Jesus. Oh, we're going to pull and, off some. Oh, these boots well, I got, we're going to pull off some good things. <laughs> and when he, gets, when he gets to second level, he can spend a key point to double that. I got a bow. <laughs> <laughs> I can pickpocket. But that's really like, that's that's the that's the only thing that he's like super good at. Right, is, yeah. Is uh, jumping and, and such. You fucking tigger. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's weird. <hilarious. laughs> okay. Anyway. So, so we need, uh, do we need any more potions? Like, who's carrying these ten potions? I'm good. You can divvy them up. Are you? Or oh, you can have one person carry all of them. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Y'all get like. One potion, and then the barbarian gets three. There you go. So what about the other two? Um, two wants to hold a potion. I'll hold the rest of them. Hold on to them. All right, Casey climbs a tree. You got him. Starts chucking. Good to me, so I've got three. Pray for the best. Yeah, buddy. All right, and so I guess do we need rations? Um, um, did everyone have like 10 rations while I was asking earlier? Uh, 
10 days really, food is not that That's what I was asking about earlier. Like, got, he wasn't really specific on that, so I didn't worry about getting Oh, yeah. Getting food food will not become an issue unless you're, like, in a multi-level dungeon. Yeah. No good. Where... Food, is, food isn't readily available. I snatched a chicken from the tavern before I came to the meeting. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this whole chicken on the yeah, right, Well, much. other than that, is everyone ready to, ready to go to the spot in the middle of the woods? How long is it? Fantastic. Okay, so take your, your fingers off all that and hold that map's done. We're done. We're, yeah. Let's take this one away. Yep. Bye, house. Okay, this is technically like cave, but each of those stalactite pipe things, there are going to be trees, because I don't have a big forest map. Okay. Oh, okay. So we're going to sure. call this a little forest in a bit. So the first <coughs> day is where you're walking through the plains towards the forest. Which way's north? You're going north. You're yeah, going which north. way's north? Oh. Say this. Towards the wall? Thank towards you. the wall. Okay, towards. yeah. yeah. It's a valid question. It, it is. is. Yeah, yeah, I totally yeah. agree with that. Because my arms are not like approved right there, but... Now, at the end of the third day, you're camping... You're going to make camp at the edge of the forest. Three days, we're at the edge of the woods, make camp. And we came from yeah. what direction? The You're south. north. We're going from south to north. Okay. South. You're heading northward. Okay, <laughs> so we're somewhere around <laughs> that area. Yeah. yeah. That dotted red line on the map. Okay, night, wa uh, who is on watch, and how is right. that? Yeah. How long is night? It was part elf. You have to rest about eight, uh, long rests are eight hours. Or if you're an elf, four hours. But yeah. All right. What time do we get there? Well, like you're making camp at night, so right. you rest for eight for eight hours, and then you watch. Yeah. Watch like who's on watch at and like first watch, second watch, third watch. How many watches you're gonna have, etc. Eight hours, six people, three people watch, just about that like that. Mm-hmm. Overlap of an hour with two people in between shifts. How do you want to divide it up? I'll take the the darkest part of it from half elf. I can see the dark. Um, and as can you have orc and anyone yeah. who's who's who's, who's, who's elven. I can take if, if, if no one else wants to, I'll take areas. the closest so to morning. One, yeah. two, three. Yeah. So yeah. it's is it watches? You three? Mm -hmm. Was it? Okay. Or did it do Pretty much tieflings and half elves and orcs. Three watches. I don't know if it would matter in any way, but since I do have these boots, uh, whenever I do sleep, if there's a branch available, I want to climb up the tree and sleep in it on, on a branch. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so then, who's on first watch, who's on second watch, and who's on third watch? Rochambeau? I'll take first watch. Second. Take last. Alright, we're going to move a little bit into the forest. No. <laughs> what the hell with that? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Uh, one more time. Well, okay, who's on second watch? Let me just ask that. Oh, just the orc. Yep. Okie dokie. Uh, give me a perception check, please. Which is d20 plus your perception. Hold on, before you roll that, for the record, I have all of the climber's kit, and he can climb like a madman. And he can jump up there. Yeah. If we're camping in the forest, we could have camped in the trees. Mm -hmm. With these, uh, all this rope, whoever has a bedroll could have camped in the trees. Uh, yeah, I, I expected us to actually be more around this area. So well, I have an obsessive okay. amount of rope in here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, you all have an obsessive amount of rope. Yeah. And if whoever has a bedroll can make a bed, I don't have one. I have a dungeon. And like I said, I want to be kind of up in a branch there. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, you can jump up there. Yeah, so I guess you can get there, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's on the back. Wait, well, you're a human? You're, you're sleeping, sleeping in a branch? I'm a motherfucking halfling. I can squeeze up there. Because I'm like sitting at the top of the tree where everything is just like... I can only just tie the neck. Probably sleep in that. I think it would be better to sleep in this one right here. Okay, so you guys are all up in the tree. Me and him are, because we were the ones that could get up the easiest. Okay, but... I was just saying, I have... I think I'll make stuff. it. Who had a bedroll? Does anyone... What, do we all want to just fucking sleep in the no, tree? No, I was just going to... No, <laughs> okay. No, it's totally <laughs> fine. No, I, 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 I just, I'll tell you this, though. It's very uncomfortable to sleep in a tree. I figured it'd be easy for me since I'm a little smaller uh, than everybody I mean, else. Adam, at least. I mean, a monk is comfortable with And I was homeless. <laughs> so. It wasn't actually sleep. It was just meditating. 
pants off the tree. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a more natural experience for me. <laughs> I should get spirit from here. Alright, well, instead of that, some triangle of trees, whatever the smallest triangle we all fit inside, I set up some traps outside of it, and everyone knows how to get in and out of it.